What is up guys, Plan Commander here and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Today, we are going to have a fun time. I don't even care what we did last, ep last episode, this is going to be fun. Oh my god, I freaking love the fifth Colossus. The fifth Colossus is named Avion. And if you didn't guess from that name, Avion is a giant bird. This is freaking cool. <laughs> this is one of my favorite boss fights in the entire game. It's so awesome. Yeah. I am so excited. I'm so happy that we finally get to fight Avia. I've been looking forward to like three Colossi in particular when I ha first had the idea for this Let's Play, and this was the first one. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be so freaking awesome. You guys have no idea. If you've played this game, you do. But if you haven't, you're in for a treat, because this is, like, the most badass thing in this entire game. Oh, man, I love this game. I really do. It's such a fantastic game. I mean, I understand, and I, I actually just had a, a conversation with a friend of mine in the comments of the first episode, that, um, not, there are, there are quite a bit of people that actually do have a couple problems with this game. And, um, just so you're one, so you're not wondering what I'm doing here. There is a Shining Lizard on every save shrine, so I'm looking for it while I talk about this. I was just having a conversation with a friend of mine, um, Dorian Lynch, on YouTube, and he was, um, telling me that, like, he gave this game a shot and it, like, wasn't really for him, and you know what? I understand that. Like, it's, it's definitely not a game for everyone, and I understand why others might, might not like it. I mean, the controls are admittedly very... Hey, there it is. The controls are really weird, and I will be the first to admit that. The controls are extremely awkward. But, I mean, it's a very artsy game. It's kind of supposed to be like that. So, I don't find it... And I'm a... I can... I guess I consider myself kind of an artsy person, because I can look past um, design choices like that, and I really actually appreciate it. So... And I understand why why other that might bother some other people, but for me, it doesn't really change my opinion. And I really, really love this game, despite its numerous flaws. And it does have problems. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this game is perfect because it's cl it's not. It's it does have issues, but that doesn't really hold it back in my eyes. I understand. Wow. Okay, I almost just walked off a cliff. Um, yeah, but I understand why it might not hit that same note with other people. So I just wanted to let you know, like, if you if you do decide to give this game a shot after watching me play it, and it's not for you, that's not your fault. It's not a game for everyone. All right, where did? Oh, I think I just saw it up there. Where'd it go? Try to scare it. Scared into coming down. Where is he? There it is. Did I hit it? I think I hit it. Alright. Now I gotta climb up here. And let's go around. Let's climb up this. There are a lot more save shrines in this game that are nest then that are necessary because um the only one you will ever really use is the one right by the shrine that is or like the the big shrine that is the only one in this game that i have ever legitimately used outside of getting the tro there is a trophy for um saving at every single one but outside of going for that trophy there is no reason to use anything other than the one between the colossi they're completely pointless. There, there really is no point. But, I digress. Where is this lizard? I just shot it. Where'd it go? Is it still up the top? Maybe I did. Oh, I see it. I see it. I saw it. I saw it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I just saw it. I know I saw it. I know I'm not going crazy. I just saw it. There he is. Buddy. Oh, he stopped right there. Got him. I just need to hit him. There we go. 
Success! Now, that's actually going to raise our stamina a little bit. So, uh, that's why it's glowing. And you probably can't even tell. But, aggro, come back. Hey, aggro. Can you pet him? I think you can. <laughs> aggro, are you made of bricks? You are indestructible. Indestructible. Okay, I'm not going to start singing. <laughs> uh, but... Dear God, I wonder. I wonder if you could shoot him with the arrows. Okay, he's scared, but uh, it still doesn't hurt him. Aggro, come back. Aggro, buddy. Hey, hey, girl. I'm oh, you can pet her. Okay, he just did a weird like neck thrash thing. All right. Giddy up. Let's go. Believe it or not, we're actually, like, right next to Avion. So we're pretty much almost there. Oh my god, I am so excited for this. I am so excited. It's so freaking cool. Hey, there's another lizard. Not all lizards are actually shining lizards. There are some that don't have the glowing tails. And you can pick up the tails from them. They just don't do anything. So, um, I don't know why they were put into the game, but... Not really. I, I want to say world building, but they don't really add anything. <laughs> I mean, I get. I guess it's a nice touch, but there really is no purpose. But we can swim under this gate. Now these gates actually, this all these structures, they imply that people have lived here. Foreshadowing, maybe. I don't know. Well, I know. You might not. You'll see. In due time. But what you do need to know for now is that it's very clear that people were here at some point. This land was not always empty. Maybe there's more to it than we know. Oh my god, I can't take it anymore! Show up! Oh, it's so cool! It's so freaking majestic! Look at him! He is so awesome! Oh my god, I love Avion. I love him. He's so cool. Oh man, that thing is awesome. Also, how is it flying? It, that thing might as well be made of bricks. Unlike Agro, who's just indestructible. <laughs> Indestructible determination that is incorruptible. Okay, I, I said I wasn't gonna sing. I sang anyway. I don't care. <laughs> now what you want to do is actually swim out, and there's actually you can see it a little bit better underwater. But there's these platforms over here that you have to swim to, and uh, it might take a little while, but you'll get there eventually. Meanwhile, Avion is just kind of. Staring at us like the badass that he is. He is so freaking cool. I love Avion. It is so cool. And you know what? The fact that he just looks so freaking cool and majestic. That isn't why I love this fight so much. We're about to see why. This is why. Come at me, bro. Oh my god, I love that so much. That is so cool. He's just... Ah! Well, that's disappointing. Come here, Avion. Avion. Did that hit him? That, uh, uh, that almost hit him. How are these not hitting him? Come on. That hit him! Come here, buddy! Come here, you majestic... You majestic, beautiful creature, you. Yeet! Oh my god, that is so cool! As I was trying to say, that is one of my favorite moments in this entire game. Just leaping onto him mid-flight is like the coolest thing. 
I feel like such a badass. But, for the first time, we are fighting a Colossus with three sigils. Yes, three. Uh, the most we fought before was two, and there's one on each of his wings, and then on the very end of his tail, he is doing a barrel roll. Is that sigil dead already? Oh my god, I think it is. That was one stab. Holy crap. All right, Avion. Uh, Avion, calm down. I know I know you don't like me stabbing you, but I got to get grip. Okay. All right. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Run. Run. No! Oh god, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss. I swear I'm not usually this bad at this game. There we go. I know I'm like nerdgasming over this, but that is so freaking I'm all, that's it's so badass. I love it. All right, he's gonna level out. Run until we can get a place to grip onto. There we go. Very very nice. All right, let's wait till he calms down a bit. Oh god, he is flapping. He is flapping. Let's get ready to stab. Also, uh, something I don't think I've actually mentioned until now is that um, the sigils don't actually show up until you have the sword equipped. Like, they are not... Th that's that's what the special qualities the sword has, like, that I was hinting at in the first episode. But, um, yeah, that's what it does. It can reveal the sigils. That's why... Are you friggin' kidding me? Game! I hate my life. Oh, here he comes. Whee! Oh, I, fr I will never get tired of that. I swear to God, I will never get tired of that. Alright, now, um, one more thing I would really love to point out. If this music sounds familiar to any of you who've been watching the Countdown community for a long time, you remember Alex, the Altark of Flame, back when he was called the Altark of Flame? This was his intro song. It's called The Despair-Filled Farewell, and I strongly recommend that you go listen to it on your own time, because it is one of the coolest orchestrated songs I have ever heard in my life. It is so awesome. And that goes for a lot of the other music in this game, but this song especially, this is probably my favorite song in the game. And... Stab! This tail sizzle was a lot stronger than the other two. Those two came out in one hit. One more good stab should do it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Did you see Wander just get flung off there? Uh, and now the mood is killed because I feel like a terrible person for killing it. Rip Avion. Rest in spaghetti. Never forgetty. I guess I could try to outswim the tentacles of death. Uh, they don't seem to be around here. They don't seem to be uh, coming for for me. They're all the way over there. Oh, oh, okay. They're coming for. They're coming for me. Even in water, you are never safe from the tentacles of death. There's that terrifying breathing sound again, because of course the game would put that in there. I still, e even like knowing the story, I don't understand why that is there. But it creeps me the hell out. It kind of reminds me of, um, in Skyward Sword, when you beat Kalactos, it makes that really weird little girl laugh. That's really, uh, that's really weird and creepy. But hey, there's five of them now. Also, you have to wonder exactly how Aggro is finding his way back here every single time. And couple. There it goes. And Wander's all like, what I miss? Did, did I sleep late? Was that a dream? No, Wander, we lived that. That was not a dream. Thy next foe is... A giant lurks underneath the temple. Oh, 
It lusts for destruction, but a fool it is not. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that last part. Most of these colossi are pretty friggin' stupid. Save for a couple of them. But most of them are really dumb. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I've been the Plant Commander. How does he keep finding it? Or she? Or whatever you are. How do you keep getting back here? See you guys next time.